Hello there, I'm Dave Allen, Good and Geeky, and Ken was asking if it's possible to take this bitmap and turn it into a vector and edit it with curves. Well, it doesn't do it automatically, you have to kind of put the curves in yourself, but the design like this is really quite quick and easy. Let's have a look and see how quick we can do this. this I want to lock this layer just so it doesn't move when I'm working on it. Click on the lock icon over there. And then what I want to do is I want to have a colour which I can see easily when I'm drawing with this here, so I'm going to change the outline colour to something else. Let's have um, red maybe. So I've got purple red for that. And then uh, let's make sure the stroke is okay as well. So 0.5 point is a bit too small. That's so big. So what I want to do with this is go to the pen tool, start down the bottom here, go from left to right, start here. This is just a straight line, so just going to click on a shift key to hold that down while I'm moving across there. I find it's easier sometimes with these ones here just to do straight lines. Look for where there's some sort of change in the curve. Put in as few of these as possible. And then I'm going to add the curves to it afterwards. So follow this all the way around. It really doesn't take long to do a job like this. That's where there's a bit of a change in the curve there. There's another change there. We can put two on there there because it's a bit of a softer curve. Bring that down here. And there's a change in the curve there. I mean, you can even put the curves in as you go with this here as well, but I so quite often find it easier not to. So we're going to put another one here. And there, and there. Got to have one there in the corner on his neck. And then to here. Put the curve in as I go. Down to there. So you get this bit of a sort of thing happening here where if you're putting the curves in as you go, you get this sort of thing happening. It doesn't really make a lot of difference if it happens like that or not, but sometimes that's why it's easy just to put straight lines in first and um, get the curves afterwards. So I got around to here and then go down to this bit at the end here. Okay, so that's that curve done there. Now I'm going to do is go to the node editing tool. And uh, it's simple now, it's just got to grab that and drag it around here. And do the same on all of these other curves around here. Like that. This one comes in. Some of these curves might be smooth curves, you might need to change them to um, sharp curves. Uh, or smart curves even, whichever works best. So um, do that as you go along. So for instance this one here. That node there is a sharp node and we'll change it to a smooth one. When you change it to a smooth one it's going to change the line a little bit and you have to do some more adjusting. Grab those handles and change them to where they need to be. In fact that's probably better as a sharp kind of node. And you see it's got a bit of a sort of squarish sort of shape to it which shows you that it is a sharp one rather than a smooth one. So either move the lines to change it to a curve or move the handles around to get the lines the way that you need them. The fewer nodes that you use, the less it's going to look a little bit lumpy. And we certainly don't want to have lumpy designs, do we? Occasionally you might find a place where you need to put in an extra node. That's a sharp curve and we want to change that into a smooth one. It'll look better as a smooth one. And use the handles to get the curve just as we need it. So a slight curve into that one there as well. So let's sort this one out here, where I made it go a bit funny by doing the curve of the line as I was dragging the lines when I was using the pen tool. But all we've got to do is just shorten that handle there, and the job's done. Let's bring that out there. And I can bring this one in here. It really is easy, this, and it's only taken me about five minutes to do this for a simple design like this. So here we're going to start off here, there's a sharp one on the end there, it's there, come around to here, I think might we need one in the middle there, down to here, and you see it lines up with the other curve that I put in there already, that's where that uh, red line's coming in there. This has got to come around to here, so I'll put one in like that, go to here, and then close it at the end there. Okay, so that's that done there. Let's go to the node editing tool. I'm going to grab that and uh, bring that in. So put that in nicely there. 
this here, got to change the shape of that slightly. Bring that in a bit. Should move that curve. Move that node in a bit as well, just to get it right. And then get this curve over here. And this here is got a bit of, not straight line there, so I'll just um, change that slightly as well. And there, the job's done. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to go to the layers, and in layers I'm going to toggle the visibility. And as you see, it's not bad. It's ready for you to do some final tweaks to get it the way you want it. So, for instance, at the top here and the top of the ear, let's um, zoom in on that there and to change that there. Get more of a curve on it. This one here looks a bit uh, strange, so I need to just um, bring that round a bit so it's not uh, looking so. This one here needs some work. Maybe it should be a smooth curve that one. And in some cases, when basically what you need to do is get rid of uh, one of these nodes here if it's a uh, one node too many and that should be a smooth node as well and you can do these uh, changing of um, nodes from sharp to smooth or whatever is to right click on it and convert to smooth that way so let's do command O again and see how it's looking and it's looking pretty good it really doesn't take too long at all to do this here and that one there I mean we could probably even get rid of that one there so let's can let's um, Delete that node. When you delete a node like that, it will change the line. So what then you have to do is, what you have to do then is just uh, go back into it and just um, move it around a little bit. This is Dave Allen showing you how you can quickly get a bitmap and trace it and have it so it's curves and you can do what you want with it. If you've got something from this video, subscribe to the channel. It's a good idea. When there's more new tutorials, you'll be able to get straight to them. So now it's time for you to do the good and geeky thing and to hack this algorithm of YouTube and put a like onto this video. Thanks very much.